Hi, I'm Dr. Altman. I'm in Picacho Peak State Park. This is a beautiful place. It's home to one of the most recognized cactus in the world. This is the famous saguaro cactus. If you've ever seen anybody dressed up for Halloween as a cactus, this was the cactus they were dressed up as, the saguaro cactus. They're very distinctive for their submissive posture. As a matter of fact, saguaro is Latin for stick them up. Saguaro have been thought to be a submissive and timid cactus, often made fun of by the other succulents. They are, in fact, covered with very sharp spines. These spines can cause a lot of damage. The saguaro decided to evolve spines after an incident with an especially ferocious weasel. Many years ago, the saguaro were as smooth as a cucumber. The cucumber itself is not a succulent, but it could be delicious, which actually could mean the same. So they got together and decided that evolving spines would be the best thing to do. So they evolved spines as a way of defense and really to piss off the weasel. The saguaro have a root system that goes down hardly at all. As a matter of fact, and very few people know this, but the saguaro cactus migrates. Its roots only go down an inch or two, and at night, they pull them up and very slowly walk to better climate. They're standing precariously on their roots. The slightest breeze could blow them over. Fortunately, here in Arizona, there hasn't been a breeze in thousands of years. It's always just hot. In a yearly migration that's taken place over thousands of years, the saguaro climbed to the crest of this hill to offer a sacrifice to the winds, which are called Mariah. It's too hot in the day for this, so they wait until the cool of night, and then pulling up their shallow roots, they inch slowly and precariously, just a, a couple of centimeters a night. And then they rebury their roots, and, and they wait out the hot day praying that there will be no wind. The mature saguaro is an isolated, lonely breed, but the adolescents like to get together, and in, in some cases even with other species. You could use the cactus for shade, but after a while, your arm might get a little tired. This particular cactus is the spokesmodel for the entire state of Arizona. He beat out his rivals, Lefty McLean's a lot, and No Arms Bob. As you look along the city streets, you'll notice cactus that have been captured in the wild. And they've been brought here and domesticated. Not really domesticated, just trapped so they can't migrate. Let us out! Let us out, please! I don't want to die in here. Oh, the humanity. Let us out! Please let us out. Back in the olden days, they used to use these for ping pong paddles. I tell you, back then men were men. You kids have it easy now. Well, there you have it from Picacho Peak State Park. Oh, look, it's uh, Norm and uh, Sheila. Norm and Sheila. Norm and Sheila. Norm worked for uh, Ford Motors for 30 years, and Sheila was in dentistry. And in their retirement, they actually volunteer work in uh, in the state parks. And uh, this is the first. This is not the first park you've worked at. No, it's not. So where else have you been? We have been to San Rafael Natural Area last year. Yeah. And we've also been to um, Grayson Highland State Park. Grayson Highland Virginia. State Park. All right, that's great. Uh, listen, what's up? Well. None of it? None of it. None of it. Never mind. The plural for cactus is cactus, as in the expression, hey, you in the woods there uh, answering the call of nature? Best not fall on that cactus. That applies to every cactus known to man. Oh, it's plural, all right.